Today we're going to discuss the Trading Paint software and what those general and advanced options actually do. Let's get started. So you sit down at your PC, you start up iRacing, and you start up Trading Paints, and this little box is staring at you. You're not sure what these options mean or what you're even supposed to choose. So we're going to uncover that today. Hey guys, XJ here. Let's start with the simple things. So what is Trading Paints? Well, iRacing doesn't automatically load custom car paints, and that's why you need to install and run the Trading Paints downloader. Again, you've got to run the program also while you're inside of the session. And what this does is it allows you to see other custom loaded paints uh, from the drivers in the field, and it also allows your custom loaded paint to be viewed by other drivers in the field. It is a great uh, addition to the iRacing community, and one of the things that makes iRacing stand out above other sim racing platforms. Now, if you've never used Trading Paints, just go to tradingpaints.com, set up an account. Once you have an account established, and you will need your iRacing driver ID number, you can click here and go to Install Downloader, and that will allow um, it to be installed on your computer. You can tell it to start up each time that you run your PC, and that way you don't have to think about it ever again. But what you will have to think about and what we're going to discuss today in depth is the options inside the general and advanced options here inside of the Trading Paints software. So let's get started with the first checkbox here. Start Trading Paints on System Startup. This is really your choice of whether or not you want it to start when you start your PC or not. Uh, I recommend checking this, that way you don't have to think about it. The resources on the computer are rather low, and if you don't need it, you can always just go down here to the bottom right and right click and exit. The next one, automatically refresh paints. So automatically refresh paints when it's selected in the downloader. Um, paints that have been downloaded are going to automatically load onto cars. And cars that are in a state of, of refreshing will turn white briefly and then reload the custom paint visibly on the car. Now, when this is unchecked, the paint files will download, but they won't be visible on the cars until you manually refresh in, in session. And that's the Control plus R function, Control R, uh, inside of an open session. Uh, this one's really an easy decision. Just, just leave this one on. There's no real reason to have to, um, you know, manually re refresh each time that you're in session, um, unless it's just something you know you want to do. So, under general, leave these two checked. Now let's go to the advanced options, and we're going to start here with clean up downloaded files when I exit iRacing. What that means is. The paint files that Trading Paints downloads during an iRacing session that you join are cleaned up or removed from your computer when you exit trading, uh, iRacing or Trading Paints. Now, if this is unselected, the downloaded paint files will not be removed from your computer uh, when you exit iRacing or Trading Paints. Now, uh, these unused paint files left on the computer can accumulate significant amount of disk space uh, really needlessly, so it is recommended uh, that you keep this option checked and on at all times. So unless you're going to manually go into the iRacing paint folder and remove files from time to time, it's a good idea to leave this one checked. Next is clean up drivers existing paint files before fetching new paints. Don't you just love the word fetching? Anyway, when this is checked, the Trading Paints downloader will remove any driver's existing paint files on your PC before fetching or grabbing their latest and most accurate paints. Uh, this also includes um, use of the decal layers from Trading Paints. However, I don't know how many people actually use the decal layer. Anyway, keeping the option checked, this ensures that paints you see in iRacing are the paints each driver has defined as their current 
paint scheme they are running. So for an example, if a driver had a previously used, um, say decal layer or paint layer, um, you raced against that driver at a point in time earlier and chose not to keep the downloaded files checked, uh, but then that driver removed the decal layer or their paint layer in trading paints. Uh, rather than ignoring the file, trading paints will clear out any existing paint files associated with that driver and replace them with what they currently have loaded into trading paints. And this is also another recommended check uh, as far as in the advanced options. So think of it as keeping the latest, greatest paint for those drivers out on the field. The next item under advanced options is update my paints. Now, when this is checked, Trading Paints Downloader will download the paints you've assigned to yourself, your cars, uh, under the my paints um, section inside of Trading Paints Online. Now, if this is not selected, Trading Paints will skip downloading your own point paints uh, on your PC and just display a fallback paint instead. Um, now, note that other drivers using Trading Paints will see the paint you are using. Uh, changing this, uh, as far as changing the, the update my own paints option, only changes your car on your computer. Uh, it is recommended for trading paints that the option uh, remain checked uh, and make any adjustments to paints that you are running inside of my paints uh, at the trading paints website if you need to adjust that. So this is another option again that's recommended uh, to, to stay checked. The next option is show output from activity. This is useful for a couple of things. Now, when it's checked, um, the Trading Paints downloader is going to display uh, a box that contains a live information output of what the program is doing. And it's usually right down here. This drops down a little bit and you'll see a per small percentage count uh, from 0% to 100% as it is downloading the files for that particular session. It also, though, adds a save output, this button um, that, that pops up that creates a text file that will go on your desktop and it contains the contents of current output of the current output window. Now, why is that useful? Well, if for detecting any type of download issues or, or for debugging purposes, if you ever submit uh, an issue, uh, a file for a, a, a help ticket with Trading Paints, they're going to ask you to, you know, save the output log so that their team can investigate what the problem is. You might use this occasionally um, for downloading paints uh, collections for AI. But if you follow my other video that talks about how to get around that problem, you sh this shouldn't really be um, an issue. So unless you just really want to watch, you know, the the to see the hundred percent loaded of all paints on this, you can leave this, you know, unchecked. If you want to watch it, then check it. But then again, even if you have it checked, and you'll see uh, this information that shows as far as the output. And then the save output file here that will go to the desktop if you click it. You're going to need to pull this window up over the iRacing session in order to see the percentage download count. And last in the advanced options as far as for checkboxes is keep my paints synced from website. When this is checked, uh, this option inside of the Trading Paints downloader will download your paint files from Trading Paints onto your PC even when you are not in a sim session on iRacing. Now, why might this be helpful? Well, if you make any changes to your paints on Trading Paints website with the Trading Paints downloader open, enabling this option will also immediately download your new and updated paints to your PC. And that way you will be able to view them inside of the iRacing UI my content cars and it will appear here. So maybe if you're using this for painting, um, it's the only thing I can possibly think of, or if you just wanna ensure that the latest paint that you have on your cars is here, um, that would be a good reason to keep that checked. So hopefully that takes the mystery away from these checkbox options in the Trading Paints software and you can make your decisions based upon the information that we've talked about here today. 
If you have any more questions in regard to trading paints or you're having issues, hey, put a comment down there below the video and we'll see if we can't get that resolved for you or maybe I can do some more content based on those problems. So I hope that helps. This is XJ. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, consider hitting that like button. It really helps the channel. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload any additional content. Follow me on Twitter to find out when I'm streaming. Thanks for watching.